Hey YouTube Fit Fam and welcome to everybody that's already joined my 12 Days of Fitness Facebook group. I'm really excited to have you join me on this little challenge I'm about to do. I know it's been a while since I posted a video but hopefully this challenge over the next 12 days is gonna make up for that. Hope you guys are ready for the uh, festive fun that's about to happen. But first, I'd like to help you enjoy the festivities guilt-free. This is why I'm inviting you to take part in my 12 days of fitness workout series. Starting in just two short days time, I'll be uploading the first daily workout of the series for you to complete, which will hit specific muscle groups each day. So by the time Christmas day comes around, you'll be able to enjoy a well-deserved rest, eat lots of yummy treats, and enjoy that bucket load of Prosecco you're gonna have. So this is how it's gonna work. These workouts I've designed can be done alone or if you're feeling particularly energetic, you can tag them onto the end of your normal gym sessions for a fat burning, muscle smashing finisher. The option is completely up to you how you want to run this workout challenge. If you're planning on doing these workouts on their own to kickstart your journey or to do a little bit of damage control, before the holidays, then I would suggest you complete each of these circuits at least twice through. But I know you all want to challenge yourself, so why not go for the triple? Each circuit should take around about 10 minutes, so to do three sets should take you no more than 30 minutes. Now let's be honest, anybody can find 30 minutes in their day to complete a little workout. Even if you were to do one circuit one time through, that's only 10 minutes, so everybody, you have no excuses. But alternatively, if you do want to tag us on to the end of your gym session, then they can be quite tough. So maybe once through, it'll be more than enough to get you that fat burning finisher that you want to and to allow you to participate in this challenge. So it's completely up to you, but don't be soft. This is a challenge after all, so challenge yourself. If you think you've done enough, then you're probably wrong. You probably have more gas in the tank to go one more round, so give it a go. If you really can't go any further, then stop. The workouts are all going to be AMRAP, which is as many reps as possible or hit in the style. So the intensity of how you train is completely up to you. As many reps as possible in a minute, so you can go all out fast in every minute you exercise and get that as many reps as possible. Or you can take a little bit slower and keep the intensity a little bit lower. So it's all in your hands. You have control of how hard you make this challenge for yourself. So what do you need? Well, I've tried Try to keep the workouts as simple as possible with the minimum equipment as possible so that you can choose to do these challenge workouts at home. Obviously if you're doing them in the gym then you should have access to everything I'm about to tell you that you need anyway. So all you're going to need is body weight obviously because we're going to be doing lots of body weight exercises. Also a set of dumbbells would be really good. So one pair of dumbbells. Obviously the heavier they are the more challenging it's going to be for you. So if you do have a few different weight selections then great you can choose depending on the exercise what weight you want to give a go obviously it's as many reps as possible so the lighter weights you've got the more reps you're probably going to be able to manage but the heavier you go the probably the least you're going to be able to do so bear that in mind when you choose your weight selection you're also going to need an aerobic step which is optional but it does increase the intensity so when I'm performing the exercises I will show you a version of the exercise with the step and an exercise without the step. So like I say, you don't have to have one, but if you do, then you can choose up that intensity. If you don't have an aerobic step, then any sort of sturdy platform, you may have plyo boxes at your gym. If you just want to use a sturdy chair in your house, although it would have to be quite a low sturdy chair, so that probably wouldn't work. Hmm. Or even if you want to use the bottom step of your staircase for some of the exercises, then the option is there for you. A weights bench with an adjustable backrest if you're in the gym is great to have available to you. But if you're working out from home, then you can use a sturdy dining chair of some kind. For one of the workouts, I am giving you a kettlebell total body circuit. So having a kettlebell um, to hand would be great for that workout. However, um, I will show you how to perform the exercises with your dumbbells if you don't have a kettlebell to hand. So don't worry if you don't have one. Uh, resistance band loop 
is going to be used for adding a little bit of resistance, particularly in the booty workout I'm going to have towards the end of this challenge. But if you don't have a resistance loop, then again, don't worry. You can perform the exercises without. It just means you won't have the resistance there to make it a little bit more intense. But if you're going all out, then you're probably going to do enough reps to get a good burn in those muscles anyway without it. So don't worry. If you don't have one, it's not the end of the world. As I've already mentioned, the workouts are going to be AMRAP or HIT in style. So we'll be working minute on, minute off in all of the circuits. So I tend to use this Gym Boss. It's an amazing little timer for HIT specific workouts and any kind of CrossFit that you might do and that kind of stuff. I will link it below so you can go check it out. But like I say, you don't need to have any special equipment regarding timers. You could easily use a clock on a wall. You could even get an app on your phone to give you that minute on, minute off timing. So don't don't worry, no fancy gym bosses, although they are only about £10 I think to buy on Amazon. But like I say, don't worry if you don't have one because your phone will do the trick. And finally, make sure you have lots of water. Take a bottle of water with you to the gym, have a bottle of water at hand at home because you need to stay hydrated. These workouts can be intense. And depending on how long you're going to work out for, you are going to dehydrate. So I need you to stay hydrated during this challenge. Lots of water. What's going to happen next? Well, this little intro video is just to give you a little bit of background on what you need, what's going to be planned for the next um, 12 days, and just to prepare you really for the challenge ahead. Tomorrow, I will be uploading the first workouts, but hold your horses. The challenge doesn't start until Wednesday. I'm uploading the video one day ahead so that you have time to watch it through, get everything you need prepared, and you can then ask me any questions you have in the comments below or on the dedicated Facebook group that I've created for this fitness challenge and I'll be able to answer them in plenty of time for you to crack on and complete your workout the next day. Also take the time over the next day or two just to take note of your current weight. Also take some before pictures even if you don't like the look of them then please please take some before pictures because you'll be surprised what the next 12 days could do to A your weight and B your physique. Now I also always try to hammer home that it's not about the number on the scales but what your body looks like and how you feel in your clothes because when you're weight training and doing any sort of high intensity work then you will build some muscle if you're eating properly so the weight may not change on your scales because of that reason muscle obviously is more dense than fat and does weigh more so your body will probably shrink especially if you're taking into consideration nutrition during this period as well if you're eating a little bit healthier and cutting out lots of the salty and sweet treats while you take on this challenge then you will lose a lot of bloat that is the water that's held in your body because of your high sugar or high salt content so you may lose a lot of water which will in turn change your body again and also possibly impact the weight on the scales so please take a note of your scale weight and also take some pictures because you never know you may really be surprised at what these next 12 days could do to make things a little bit easier if you're going to be doing these workouts in the gym I will be listing at the end of the video the actual exercises so you can screenshot it and take it with you on your phone so you can refer to it if you're not working out from home or you don't have access to this video you obviously can follow me on the video I will be keeping the time and strict so I will be performing the exercise with a minute on not necessarily having the minute off because that would be a very boring minute for you to watch but you can time that minute yourself you can follow me if you do want to watch the video and do the exercise at the same time but I will just be posting the video of the circuit one time through and then you can decide then if you want to rewind it to do it again and again and again if you wish but yeah you will have to go back to the start of the video which should be easy enough to do and watch it again anyway I think I've waffled on enough and I think I've covered everything I wanted to but if you do have any questions then feel free to comment below or message me direct and don't forget to subscribe if you found this video on YouTube and make sure you turn on your notifications so that you will be the first one to know when I upload the next workout for the following.
following day. I have also created a Facebook group dedicated to this fitness challenge. So if you want to head over there, I've linked it below to join the group. The group is great if you want to get amongst it with everyone else on the group and have a little chat and also have a little bit of competitive fun because I think we all have a little bit of competitiveness in us. So if you want to post your results on there, then great. But be mindful that everybody's at different fitness levels. Uh, be kind is what I'm saying. It's a friendly group. So head over to Facebook as soon as you finish watching this video. Like I say, it's linked below and get amongst it and I will welcome you to the group as soon as you do. Also, get your friends involved. If you think your friends can benefit from this or you want to get a little bit competitive with your friends, then get them amongst it as well. Share this video, share the links to my Facebook group, and share the love, it's Christmas. Hope you all give us a go and have a blast doing it. And remember, just to give it your best, you're only competing against yourself after all. What I also advise is that you eat good nutritious food and drink plenty of water. You need to fuel your body while you're doing these workouts. So eat well and keep hydrated. And who knows, you may surprise yourself with your results. So remember those four pictures and take a note of your weight. And all I'll have left to say is good luck. I hope you have a great time. Let me know how you're getting on as we uh, progress through the workouts by commenting below. And I will see you on the other side. For now, enjoy your workouts. So who's going to be on the naughty list by the end of this challenge, I wonder?